Fuck all these niggas and bitches, they dead to me. I got the sauce, I got the remedy. Say my thought, but act like an enemy. I make a car and turn you to cannon. Not wasting my time, not wasting my energy. Shot for my confidence, shot for a better. All right, so y'all just witnessed the Atlanta Hawks go down against the Chicago Bulls on the road, in which they ended their season. Chicago Bulls will advance to play the Miami Heat in the next play in for that to be the AFC. Who gets the AFC spot in the in the 2024 NBA playoffs in the East Eastern Conference? And the Atlanta Hawks, unfortunately, they lost with a hobbled Trey Young with a another great performance by Dejounte Murray. But it doesn't matter. So in today's video, we're going to get into should. The Atlanta Hawks keep DeJounte Murray or Trey Young? What's good, y'all? It's your boy, we're back again with another video. Now, this is a tough one. This is a very tough one. Because obviously, at first, before Trey Young went down, it was obviously they should keep Trey Young and get rid of DeJounte Murray, right? But since Trey Young went down, DeJounte Murray's game has elevated to the next level. Now, you might say, okay, he has nobody else on his team, so he has to score that many points. Cool. Got it. You have a point. But is it also because the Hawks are more, they have a better vibe with Jajante Murray? They want to, maybe they want to have a new direction. Didn't have a Trey Young because yes, Trey Young did get to the get the Atlanta Hawks to the Eastern Conference Finals a couple years ago. Yes, Trey Young did have some great performances in the playoffs before. Yes, Trey Young also like led the league assists a couple times. Yes, Trey Young do yes, Trey Young is him. Okay, but maybe they might want to go a different direction. And we don't talk about the bad stuff about Trey Young as we enough we do. As we should. You know, Trey Young did get Nate McMillan out of town, in which Nate McMillan still should be the coach of the Atlanta Hawks. Still should be. No disrespect to Quinn Snyder, but it still should be Nate McMillan. But Nate McMillan and Trey Young, as reported, did not have a great relationship. So, a lot of people really blaming Trey Young for the lack of success for the Atlanta Hawks, in which I disagree. But at the same time, it's like, Trey Young putting up these numbers, but is he really providing the wins for the Atlanta Hawks? You can say the same thing about Jojante Murray. Trey Young's a better facilitator. Trey Young might be a better shooter. Who's the better scorer now? Jojante Murray is definitely improving that. Who's the better defender? Jojante Murray showed that he can defend when he wants to. The biggest question is, are the teammates vibing with Trey Young or Jadante Murray more now since Trey Young went down? That's the question. And that's going to be the deciding factor in this offseason, what they, the line of Hawks are going to do. They can, they can be stupid and keep both of them again and get nothing else in return. Don't get no 3D. Don't get no different type of center. Capella needs to be gone. I'm sorry. Capella provides good bang, rebounds, lobs. What else does he provide? You can find out with a lot of other centers in this league. I'm sorry. You really can't. Needs to be gone. DeAndre Hunter. You can you can some you can trade. You can pack us a trade for him. Okay. I like I like Bogdan. You can you can try to you can try to hold on to a bogey. You can try to hold on to a bogey. Sadiq Sadiq Bay needs to be gone. Bruno Fernando's garbage. The rest of the teams is wasteless. So you are gonna have to make a decision. Because you're going to have two guards again. You can't go to Portland Trailblazers right with Dame CJ again. It's not going to work. 
Okay. So, Atlanta, what you gonna do? My opinion is tough. It really is because one hand, I'm saying, okay, keep Trey Young. Trey Young's been the he's been a franchise so far. Trusting him, he just needs better teammates around him, and that's still seventy percent of my answer right now. 30% is like, okay, you might want to move in that different direction because Jadacha Murray is improving even more to his best ability. But is he really winning over the teammates? Is he really getting wins for this team like that? Other than both game winning buzzer beater shots at the buzzer? Like, is he really changing the team? No. So, for right now, it's Trey Young. But I want y'all to comment down below in the comments. And let me know who should they keep and why. And that's probably going to do it for this video, man. I hope y'all enjoy. Give your boy a like, subscribe, time for new. Like I said, just let me know what should they do. Because it's going to be a tough offseason for Atlanta Hawks. It really is. Quinn Snyder, I don't know. He's going to be the coach this team. I don't know. Who knows? Without further ado, man, I hope y'all enjoyed. It's been your boy, Will, and I'm out.